Hey folks, thanks for tuning back into the Colonial RV YouTube channel. Joe Welch is here and we are back with another service tech tip video. We are continuing our winterization series. So far we covered the Timberline system in the Rebel and the AquaGo in the Navion. Today we're going to winterize and, and cover the Truma Combi system in this 2023 Winnebago Solus 59PX. You ready? Let's go. Keep in mind every RV system is set up a little bit differently. So if you're unsure about your configuration, please refer to the manufacturer or make an appointment with our service department today. It's important to get ahead of winterization because waiting too long could mean unwanted repairs and a possible visit to see me here at Colonial Service. So I recommend that you properly follow the next winterization steps and you avoid visiting a service shop. And please remember, as your one-stop shop for all things RV, like and subscribe if you haven't already, and get notified when new videos come out. Your suggestion and your comments mean the world to me. Remember, you need to ensure that you have some very important key items first, like RV-specific antifreeze, using regular car antifreeze is highly toxic to humans and should never be used in an RV. We recommend any RV and marine specific, non-toxic, we carry this here in our parts store. And the second thing you're gonna need, as long as you have a B&B &B Nautilus, like you, we do in this Solus 59PX, is a hose that's already been cut so we can stick this in our antifreeze bottle. So Winnebago makes it nice and easy with the B&B Nautilus system back here. We're going to look and find our winterization valve positioning, and then we're going to just match it, make sure that we have each valve pointed directly the same way, and then where our city water fill would be, we're just going to go ahead and take our cutoff garden hose. We're going to connect that to our system. And once that's connected, we can go ahead, grab some of our RV antifreeze, and we're gonna put our hose directly in the bottle. Now I'm gonna go ahead and flip my pump switch on, and then I'm gonna pressurize the system with the antifreeze, and then you're gonna meet me at the sink inside. All right, so your first step in your Solus 59PX is to shut off your gas valve, and then in your jump seat in the cab here, we're gonna find our yellow hook, pull that out, and lift the whole seat up. Here you have the fresh drain and this pan here. We're gonna pull the pan out of our way. And then we actually have an on-off switch for our Truma Combi. I'm gonna shut that switch off here. And now I don't have to worry about the Truma boiling any antifreeze as I run it through it. So now that we've got our pump hooked up and our Truma shut off, we can go ahead and start from the high to low. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab my shower head for here. I'm gonna open up the hot side. Let that run. Once I have nice flow there, I'm gonna shut the hot side off. Switch to my cold side. Once I have antifreeze coming out pressurized on both sides, I'm going to shut my shower off entirely. And then while I'm here, I might as well go ahead and flush my commode. I'm going to open that up, hit the button flush on the rear, and just make sure that I have antifreeze coming out of that flush. Now I'm done with my wet bath here. I can go ahead and shut that behind me. And we have the kitchen sink. So same thing, I want to do cold and hot separately. Open my cold, let that antifreeze run out. Nice and pressurized. Now I can shut the cold side, move over to my hot, open my hot, and let it run while it's pressurized as well. Now there's actually three more things we gotta do. The first thing we're gonna step out to do. So now that we're outside, we're gonna go ahead to the back of our van, grab our quick connect shower hose, and we're gonna find our first connection on the back of the Nautilus here pulling our connect and pushing the hose in. Now we're gonna go ahead and open our hot side. Letting that run out. Now I wanna go ahead and shut my hot, open my cold, spray out the cold side as well. And I can shut this off, but I need to take the hose with me and we're gonna go out by the other side door. 
So sometimes you're not going to want to go to the all the way to the back of the van to use your connect hose. So right by this side door, we also have a connection. We're going to do the same thing in where we grab our fitting, pull it back, and now we've connected our hose. We're going to open our hot side and then shut it and open our cold. Now we can go ahead and disconnect our hose here. We've got both ports winterized and we're going to go and do the emptying of our Truma. So the very last thing for us to do on our 59PX is to come back to our jump seat and our Truma and we're going to open our low point hot and cold and our fresh tank drain. So going to the Truma to drain it first, the only valve in here that is this nice yellow flip valve, this is going to be our Truma drain. After that's open to be drained, you also have the cold side low point, the hot side low point, all the way closest to me, and then the drain for the fresh tank itself. Opening this will empty out all the water you have left in that fresh tank. Just to go the extra mile, if you have any leftover antifreeze when you're done, go ahead and put that in both your sink drain, in your kitchen, and in your shower pan drain in your wet bath. The cassette toilet can be removed and dumped, but these two drains have traps that you should fill with the antifreeze. See, that wasn't so hard. With a little bit of direction and some patience, it's easy to winterize your camper van. Follow these steps and you'll have nothing to worry about over these winter months. And if you don't wish to winterize your own RV or you worry about messing any steps along the way, please don't hesitate to call our service department and set up your winterization appointment today. Before we end this video, we would really appreciate everyone hitting that like button and subscribing if they haven't already. If you found this video helpful or you have any questions at all, please leave us a comment below or reach out to us at colonialrv.com. Our phone number is 800-265-9019. My name is Joe Welches and I hope to see you all again in the next Colonial Service Tech Tip video.